The idea of this CD and the tour that I'm doing, the four decades of rock, is really, a, for me, a celebration of my whole career and bringing it to where I am now, but not losing touch with where I started in 72 with Montrose. You know, like a song called Not Going Down is so Montrose with Denny and Bill. You know, Ronnie Dunn writing a song with me, it's so car, it's just, it's, I can't drive 55 all over again. And being able to do that and bring that into the newer lifestyle stuff that, you know, I've done with the Wabos, you know, the Mas Tequila and the, you know, the Cabo Wabo, where it all started in the Van Halen era when I wrote that song. That was about a lifestyle, and, and I've pretty much been living that ever since, and I'm not going to stop. But once, once I got into the studio with these guys, the Montrose guys, and, and uh, you know, the Wabos and, and, and Mickey Hart and people like that that I, I start pulling in to play on this record, uh, Neil Schoen, Chad Smith, Michael Anthony. Once we all got together again to start recording this music, it really took on a special life of its own. It's just one big, put it all in a nutshell, and this is what it is. And the new songs are, are so, they're so that. I was inspired enough by these guys to write more songs. Say, oh no, I'm gonna write another new song and I wanna do one more song with these guys. And, and, and then I got other people to write for me, which was great. Well, Sammy says to me, uh, Mickey, you know how to do this stuff. I mean, this is what you do. Uh, take me to the islands. And I said, well, no problem, Sammy. And that's how uh, it started. Sammy really liked the idea of collaborating with other artists. And what they bring to the music and to his music in a really an interesting, exciting way. And it was something new for him. I think he really enjoys um, what other people do uh, with his music. Me and Sammy go way back together, um, back to the roaring 80s. He uh, thought of me to sing a harmony part on his new song, All We Need Is An Island. Being in the studio with Sam and Bill was like, um, it's like old home week. Sammy could give me like a couple days notice next time before he called me. He called me on Sunday. I'm like hanging out at home watching TV, relaxing. And he's like, come down here, man. You got to come down and play. <laughs> so I did. I just found the whole session was very exciting. Um, plus, it was great to be back in the studio. The Wobbles haven't done a record in a while. So we were all really excited and fresh to get in there and get going on it. What struck me on this album that's different from other albums is we had different types of instruments. We had uh, an accordion. Uh, we've had slide before, but this time it's like a pedal steel Hawaiian thing that we've had on here. When I hear him sing the blues, I'm getting chills saying it right now, and this is no jive. Furs up, Sammy. When I hear him sing the blues, it goes to the essence of his soul. The guy is a great blues singer. It was like, ooh, <laughs> There's some, that boy got some rock left. <laughs> Sam just called me up and said, hey, I got all my buddies. We're doing an album for old Sambo. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll be there. And Sam's a great guy. Sam's always got a little light on in his heart and his eyes. And uh, he works hard and loves life. And, and I adore him. I think he's a great guy. So I wrote a song. Yeah. It's called uh, Battle on Forge of Chevrolet. I sent it to you. You're going to play guitar on it. Next thing I know, you cut it. Stole my song. So, it was too good. It was me. Yeah, it was me. It came back and sounded ten times better than, than what I did. So, thank you. Well, I would say that I've never seen anybody have so much fun making a record as I did Sammy making this record. I mean, he came into the studio like a 15-year-old, just filled with enthusiasm every day. And and you know, the musicians might have been sitting around. They might have been in a bad mood. They might have you know, not know what they're going to play, whatever. But as soon as he walks in the building, everybody lightens up and starts having fun. It's a very, very infectious, spontaneous, supportive vibe that Sammy has that really makes making music a lot of fun. I really like that I blended it all together in one CD and one tour and it covers four decades. It's awesome. I feel really, really good about this CD and this tour.